Hello guys, this is Jacko from Muddy Tiger Outdoors and today I'm going to show you something really cool. This is going to be the, as you can see from the box, the DPMS Panther Arms, one of the rifles and this is one of the rifles that uh, I really like uh, for a number of, of things but I want to show it to you before I keep uh, uh, talking. This is the um, Sportical, DPMS uh, Sportical rifle. This is kind of their uh, lowest cost uh, rifle that they have right now and it's available in 556 caliber uh, 223 Remington so it's a pretty cool rifle um, for what it is and if you are familiar with uh, AR-15s you are uh, noticing a couple of things missing here or more than a couple of things um, now this is from what I understand marketed to be uh, an entry level uh, base model um, AR-15 type rifle or sporting rifle and this is kind of one of the, the uh, biggest qualities of the rifle is the price. You know, for what you pay, uh, usually you can find this for different uh, prices, usually around the $499, less than $500 uh, price tag. And I think for an AR-15, that is a good quality rifle. That is, uh, uh, it has a lot to say. Now, there's a number of, of ways that they were able to keep the cost uh, low on this rifle. And, one of them is by getting rid of the stuff that you may not have to have in a rifle if you're just going to use this for target practice purposes, um, home defense, or just, you know, recreational use. Obviously, you don't have your dust cover there. Um, it's something that unless you're going to go out in the desert or out in the mud and, and uh, shoot in a sandstorm, you're probably not going to need or, or get much benefit from. Uh, you don't have your shell deflector here. It's obviously not there and of course you don't have your forward assist um, again there's many opinions out there as far as the need for those uh, things in, a, in, a, in this type of rifle the forward assist if you don't know how it works basically you just tap it and it pushes the bolt forward just in case there's a misfire or in case there's some kind of malfunction with the weapon if you have a malfunction with your weapon uh, with, with your rifle when you're shooting you probably shouldn't press the, the, the thing forward. What I would do is just stop, put it in safe, eject a mag, clear it again, make sure there's nothing stuck. I would probably check the round just to make sure that it's not a dud or a problem with the actual bullet. Uh, but anyway, that's that's my opinion and you know you don't have to agree. If you agree, thank you for agreeing with me, make you feel better. Anyway, so back to the rifle. Uh, again, the stock, uh, it's a collapsible six position stock, very, very suitable for, for you know, your needs. Um, it's got a little bit of a attachment there for your uh, sling. Now, there's only one attachment point for that sling. There's nothing at the front, so that would be something that you would have to um, get on your own. It's got a very uh, suitable uh, pistol grip, and it feels just fine, just like most uh, pistol grips that you get when you purchase any kind of uh, AR-15. This is your base model uh, pistol grip, obviously just you know a hard uh, polymer plastic thing. Uh, it's got a very nice tr uh, trigger guard. You know it moves a little bit, it rattles a little bit, but not a whole lot, and that means that it's just you know you can remove it and put your own, or to just leave it there, and it's very very sufficient. And it's got a two-stage uh, mil spec trigger, which is a very nice trigger. I mean, uh, there's no wobble, there's uh, consistency with the trigger, and, and it's a it's a very suitable trigger. Coming up to the handguard, just your regular uh, plastic handguard. It's good for what it is, and that's it. It doesn't have to be any fancier than that. This particular rifle is marketed for, I guess, to be ready for optics. So it doesn't come with any kind of sights. No iron sights, no red dot, nothing like that. That's why, or that's one of the ways that they were able to keep the cost low. So it's a flat top. You can just add your sights, whatever you prefer. Uh, folding sides, optics, you name it, whatever you want. It's got your run-of-the-mill um, gas block and of course the barrel is chrome-lined, molychrome-lined and it's one an inch uh, twist. Again, 223-556 uh, multi-cal uh, rifle. And one of the nice things about this rifle, it came with a, a magazine and this is uh, one of those Magpul brand magazines. So I thought it was pretty nice and it's not your regular metallic uh, you know, 1950s, 1960s magazines. It's an actual Magpul and it works. It's a proven item. So very cool that it came with that. Now taking the rifle apart or field stripping it just to kind of see the, uh, uh, some of the internals. Very generic internals, nothing fancy, nothing 
uh, super special, but definitely works what it has in there. It definitely works. We're gonna take the uh, bolt out, the rifle aside. Again, just very regular looking bolt. It works. It's a good quality item. It feels like it's very sturdy. Um, you know, it's the, the finish, the coating looks very well produced, very well made. No worries there. And of course, here's your charging handle. Again, very generic uh, uh, base model charging handle. Here's a little bit of a closer look to the feed ramp. Very well made as far as internals. This particular rifle, uh, you could say that it's probably good for an entry level shooter, uh, for a first time shooter, or for someone that wants to keep just the cost low and keep it very simple. Uh, I think that's a great idea, it's a great option. Um, I'm not new to AR-15s or firearms for that matter, but this is something that definitely uh, enables me to keep adding on to this and make it more my own without having to deplete my bank account or uh, you know my wallet asking for mercy. So I think it's a great, great option there. Again, uh, if you're not familiar with the brand DPMS, uh, Panther Arms, they're, uh, they're all made in the United States. These rifles are made in Huntsville, Alabama. So again, it's a, it's a good quality uh, US built uh, product that uh, you know, it's, it's you know, just a great option to have if you're wanting to uh, get into the AR-15 um, you know, platform of you, if you're wanting to get a, a second or third uh, rifle, I think it's a great option. Uh, one, for the low cost, Two, for the simplicity of, of the rifle, and three, it's just well made. You know, a lot of times when we think low cost or when we think affordable, we think cheap. I don't think there's a lot of cheap about this rifle. Um, you know, it's a metal rifle. I know there's several companies out there making polymer, uh, lower in uppers, and, um, you know, sometimes they mix it with car uh, carbon fiber. I think uh, Wyndham Weaponry makes a, a very good, reliable, low cost um uh, polymer rifle, uh, but this is still metal. You know, this is still a good solid rifle. Plastic parts, yes, here and there, um, but definitely a good, good rifle for what it is. Anyway, guys, what I plan to do with this rifle is um, I plan to make a series of videos just to kind of sort of uh, just customize the rifle, uh, almost like a beginner's. I'm a beginner. I don't claim to be an expert as far as uh, firearms. I've got a couple and I've, uh, I shoot a good amount and I enjoy and I do some research and I read about them and all that kind of stuff so um, I don't classify myself as, as a you know expert or super knowledgeable but I know a thing or two so I'm definitely going to be modifying this weapon making it my uh, my own just for recreational purposes I enjoy going to the range and just you know just see what I can do improve my uh, shooting skills and this is what this type of rifle enables you to do keep it low cost keep it effective, at the same time have a little bit of fun with it. So definitely a good rifle. Well guys, I hope you liked the video. And if you did, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, uh, check us out on Facebook, Muddy Tiger Outdoors, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.